Hello. Yes. Y yes. Can I speak to the aunt, uh, Mrs. Aunt? Uh, I hope she is not busy. No. She is busy right now. Okay. Well, when I can talk to her. Uh, she is teaching in the University of Islam. Oh, okay. And what is uh, what what she do teach? Uh, if you don't mind. Oh, she is making a lecture. Oh, okay. Uh, so she is not like a permanent uh, teacher there. She is the dean of the university. Oh. Oh, okay. That makes sense. I mean, so I can now imagine that she is holding a microphone and um, she is talking, right? Uh-huh. Okay. All right. All right. All right. And how I recognize, uh, like, which one? I mean, there's a lot of ants. Which one is the dean? Oh, the one is holding the microphone. I mean, sorry, you know, like, sound like a stupid question, isn't it? Yeah, obviously. So if I go there, the one is holding the microphone is the dean. The rest, they don't use microphone. Ah, uh, okay. The other rest are listening. Uh, and uh, just a question. Is uh, Suleiman is uh, listening to? Is he like uh, in the lecturer, you know, listening to the end? No? Why are you, why are you upset? Uh, Solomon is dead? Nobody told me. Honestly. I don't know. How I know? You know, I'm not really, like, I'm not familiar with the town here, you know? I'm a stranger. Exactly. So forgive me, I do not know. Nobody informed me. Sorry, and I work condolences to his uh, widows. You know, we have, he have a lot of wives, you know, as you know. I don't know what happened in his funeral with all those women. But uh, anyway, thank you very much for, uh, you know, informing me. Thank you. Uh, 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 takbir. Okay, takbir. Takbir. All right. Peace of Christ to all of you. Today our story is the talking ant. Uh, my Skype is open. We don't want to waste time. So if there is any Muslim he want to call us uh, to tell us about the talking ants and the purpose of this story, we would like to learn. You know, the Muslims, they have tons of videos about the amazing Quran, Zakir Naik, Yasser Qadhi. I mean, all the Abdul and the world, they have tons of articles, uh, Quran, discovery, uh, you know, I mean, which all of it is, uh, is very easy to debunk unless you are a bunk. Then you do not know what to say. Uh, when the Muslim, they speak about a book and they say to us, no one can make Quran like this Quran. I find the story is very funny, uh, even the challenge, because I mean, you know, imagine I now challenge anyone in the world to write a book like mine, and because you cannot, because if you try to copy me, this is my book, obviously you are copying me. Therefore, I am God. You know, this is number one. Number two, in order to be competing with Allah, I have to make in, like, come with the stupidest stories like the stories of Allah. I mean, as you see, this God is very funny, very weird, and he says stupid things. Nobody, nobody say, nobody do. And the Muslims, they try to convince us that this is the book of God. You know. Now, uh, you know, we are going to go a little bit review. Maybe if there is a Muslim can join us, Muhammadan. Uh, you know, feel free uh, to join us. My Skype is open. I will be happy to uh, discuss with you the story. If we go in the Quran. You know, remember when we say a book of God, I mean, God, he don't, I mean, God is not a kid, right? He's not a kid who says stupid things. You know, there is a reason for things, right? So if we ask the Muslims, what is the purpose of this story? And is it a real story? The Muslim, they say, yes, it's a real story. This is not a parable. This is not a parable. To teach you something no this is what happened to Solomon Solomon he was going with his army uh, and then one of the ants you know uh, this is what the verse in Arabic says and here you know you will find a lot of things uh, uh, you see the translation here is false, by the way. It says an ant warned ants. Uh, this is false because the ant did not just say, uh, like the Quran doesn't say in Arabic, 
she warned she said قالت نملة قالت mean in Arabic she said قالت it's a female word but doesn't mean we are talking about a female because always uh, when we speak about insect most of the insect in Arabic they come as a female but we don't look at their testicles as if you understand what I mean and actually I remember uh, once a Muslim he says it, uh, the scientists they found that the one who warn uh, about the danger is a female ant which is very funny because in Arabic we don't have male ant <laughs> this is the only word we have you know if we speak about plural word which mean like uh, ants we say naml if we speak about one we say namla. that's it we don't have a male uh, and female ants so it's a very funny argument but you know this desperate uh, religion they need a desperate measure but th those things can work with someone who don't speak Arabic and he do not know Arabic at all but not with us but now here if we change the translator uh, this is Katab. Let us see uh, Arbari, Ahmed Arbari. Till when they came to the valley of the ant, who Suleiman, uh, an ant said. And here you will see how the story is hilarious and stupid. Ants don't talk. Ants don't talk. Now, all creatures in the world, I mean, in this uh, uh, earth, they communicate for sure. I mean, they, for sure they have their, let us say, uh, you know, just to make it simple, they have their own language. But they don't talk, you know. We can say they talk as a communication, but talk, no. Here in Arabic, it says it clearly, one ant she said. The ant said, it's in front of you. Ants enter your dwelling places lest Solomon and his host crush you now I wanna I want you to do something which is very easy to do go and find uh, a colony of ants and step on the colony the ants will not hide in the colony the ants will attack your feet is that correct have you ever heard of ants hiding in their hole because you walk around no they climb on you if you sit on them they will eat you alive let us say you have an ass like the ass which Allah he promised Muslim women one mile and you have one mile ass and you sit in the top of the ants colony the ants don't run away and hide they will attack you so this is a very false argument. You see, if, the, if they are rabbit, I would say rabbit, they do that. If they are, uh, you know, uh, I mean, uh, I mean, those are very aggressive uh, insects. Like, you know, if you sit in the bees, they don't hide. You know, and ants are the same. They have a defense, uh, uh, you know, ag aggression. They don't hide since when? And actually, the more the more like you uh, uh, you uh, attack their area, let us say you put your foot in the top of their colony and you start playing with the sand, the more they go crazy. They don't go and hide. This is a very false statement. So number one, ants don't hide. Secondly, uh, the story is very stupid, and you know, like as you see, the ant she knew the name of Solomon, you know. Like she did not say there is a human beings coming to de destroy our colony. Uh, she said, "Lest Solomon and his host crush you." So this ant not only she is an ant who is talking languages, and she speak when ants are really mute and then and communicate by chemical and vibration, chemical and vibration. Which means even sound really is not exist in their system, but they feel the vibration. But as you see here, the Quran and the Muslim they say the Quran is made in a pure Arabic, clear Arabic. So like Arabic is a clear here. There's no question. It says the ant spoke. And one of the ants, and here I need to ask myself, why only one? I mean, 
I think the ants are short of employees. You know, I mean, uh, the 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 uh, the ant co corporation in that uh, location, they were short in money, and they decide to hire only one ant for security. So one ant, she said. The rest of the ant, they don't say anything. Only one ant. And she spoke, and then the question is, how Suleiman is able to hear the ant? You see, let us say for the sake of argument, the ant, they speak. Let us say they speak a language. Let us say even they are like birds, but we never heard ants making noise, right? I mean, uh, if you put maybe a very, very, very a sensitive microphone in the colony you will hear their movement but this is not because they are um, uh, singing because they are moving and they are vibrating so but we don't hear ants singing and talking so if for the sake of argument if one of the ants she spoke how Solomon was able to hear the ant was Solomon like he have a special feature as a human being they don't have if you go in the Quran, you will see if just two verses before, one verse here, skip this one, go up. It says that Allah, he taught Suleiman, the language of the, the speech of the birds. Okay. So Allah, he taught Suleiman, the language of the birds. And what happened? Allah is listening and, and uh, sorry, Suleiman is listening to the ants and he understand their speech. So when the Muhammadan they say, who can make Quran like this? You know, this is laughable Quran. This is not even good for kids. If I speak to, a, like once I was talking to a girl, she's like seven years old or something like that. I, I know, I thought she will take my, uh, you know, fiction story uh, and she will think about it. So I saw a broom, you know, uh, like her family were shopping and I was walking with them. So I saw a broom outside. I said, this is the broom can fly. She said to me, do you think I'm stupid? Those are cartoon. They are not real. <laughs> she's just like you know i mean she was so small she said to me really you think this uh, you know this is in cartoon they are not real you know and i thought like okay you know she is in this age i can speak about the flying broom and the witches and she said to me i got you busted you know this is a cartoon this is not real broom don't fly you know but the god of muhammad he got his broom and he got uh, a special man, his name is Solomon, and he taught him the language of the birds. Yet Solomon, he understand the language of the ants, and uh, the ants don't really speak, you know, by using the speeches. Even in the Quran, it says that he heard her speeches. You know, if you read here, it says, but he smiled, laughing at her, her its, its words. Do you see the word words? Do you see it? Suleiman, he laughed at what he heard of her words. And then the Muhammadan, they come to us and they say, you know, you will see like tons of uh, videos of Zakar, Zakura and Yuka and uh, Shabir Ali and all those people saying to you, uh, the Quran is amazing. Nobody can make a book like this. I mean, this is, I mean, this is not even good for kids. And you know what? Make it more funny. If you go up a little bit, you will find that the army of Suleiman can, you know, contain uh, genie and men and birds. I mean, this king not only he have an army of a human, army of genie. He have a chicken. The birds, they are his army too. And you know, like if Muhammad in the story, he said he have an army of jinn and men and elephant. I will say, you know what elephant they can do make a difference in such a uh, time in the war. If I say horses, I say, well, horses or all army use horses, you know, especially at that time. Uh, but birds. Why? What the, what the birds will do? Who is a Muslim can tell us what those birds in the army they will do? Do we have any Muhammadan? See, I'm going with you. I have now an army 
contain human, genie, men, birds. What the birds exactly will do in war? Any Muhammadan? If you are listening to this video later, don't forget to make a comment if you are a Muhammadan. Uh, for sure, I advise you to kiss the black stone before you answer because the black stone will help you. What the birds will do? You know, I mean, are we talking about birds in the size of F-35? Or normal birds like those we see them in the cartoon in the Chinese movie when that or in the Lord of the Ring when there is some eagles they come and then in order to understand what kind of birds then we will find that the bird he's talking about the army of birds is the hoopoe but this is a very small tiny bird how this army of birds can help This bird is even smaller than a pigeon. I don't know if any of you, you know, live in the desert. Usually you can see them in the desert. They are beautiful birds, by the way. And I think because Muhammad, he looked at the, at the bird, look. So he said to himself, this is, must be a general bird, you know. I mean, he looked like, a, you know, a general in the, in the Roman army. You know. So Muhammad, he tried to find a place for the hoodhood in the army of Solomon, you know, this is Mr. Hubhu, the Hubu, hoodhood in Arabic. And until now, by the way, in case you do not know, because of that story, this bird is lucky in the Middle East. No Muslim dare to touch him. Lucky. You know what I mean? Like this is how a story of an idiot can change the fate of a, of a, of an animal. So now Muslims. They don't hurt this bird. They don't. It's protected. This is the bird of Solomon, brother. This is the bird who went all the way to Yemen and he found a woman for Solomon. She have no hair in her legs. And you know, the hair in the legs is something big in the Middle East because women, I mean, they are very hairy, you know. This is why actually the story of Harry Potter is coming from us. Our women are very hairy. Harry Potter. So the story, if we read, you know, and when the Muslim, they challenge us about making a book like this, this is not only a stupid story. It's not only doesn't fit for children. Why Muslims don't ask themselves, what the purpose of the story? Okay, you know what? Let us say for the sake of argument, this is a true story. So the man, he was walking in the field. And, you know, here I need to, to like make it more clear. Uh, only one time in his life, Suleiman, he encountered ants in his way. Are you with me, guys? You see, I'm just trying to think with you, not for you. You know, I know you are all of you are smarter than me. You know, I used to get like the last, I was the last one in my classroom, you know, even though I'm the only student. But Allah is the best of the creators, yet He is the only creator. So if you think of the story, the story not only is stupid, the story is saying to us that Suleiman in his lifetime, he saw only one time ants. Only. Because this should happen all the time. I mean, this guy, he's taking his army from place to place. So Suleiman, he have an army, according to Muslims, all the way to, to Persia. He have a flying carpet. He have a flying horse. He slaughtered him because he was angry. His wife, she burned the chicken. But this story is saying, so just to us, that Suleiman, he never saw ants. He never heard ants, except once. Why? If he is able always to understand ants, I mean, ants is everywhere. If you go to Asia, you will find ants in the 17, 18, 19, 20 floor.
So this guy only once he saw an ant and the ant she spoke and he liked what she said. And not only that, actually, if you go, the Muslim, they have a, they have a website. Let me show you. They have some details, extra details about the story, which is lovely. Let us see. Because the question, the conversation in the Quran is really doesn't cover, doesn't cover all what happened between Suleiman and between this ant. You know. Uh, Okay, I'm just trying to find the website. I found one, but I want to get more details of the story, which all of you will love and you will enjoy, you know. So here we go, we found the website. The account of Suleiman, you can always search for this in, in uh, Google. And this is the website of alislam.org, right? So you can search for the same title exactly and you will find the story. And here you will find, you know, uh, uh, some details about uh, the stories uh, of uh, Suleiman. And what he like uh, encounter in his lifetime. So Suleiman passes through the valley of ants. Miracles of Suleiman related to animals and birds. So this section, all right. And his horse he is reading the Quran. Let us go and see that story. Ali ibn Ibrahim have narrated, etc., etc., that when the wind raised the throne of Ibrahim, uh, the throne of Ibrahim, Ibrahim, he have a throne. Man, Ibrahim was a king. Oh boy. And reached the field of ants. What the heck? I think this guy who was writing the story here, he, he, he by mistake, he typed the word Ibrahim. He meant Suleiman. From, uh, 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 so he we reached the field of ants from where silver and gold come out. <sighs> mean, this is. Hey guys, who want to join me to make a corporation? We can go right now and we look for the field of ants and there we will find gold and silver you know what i just remember there's a lot of ants in my backyard i'm rich guys man this is where gold and silver is coming from i should not tell you that because all of you now you will come to my backyard and start digging by the morning i will find that ten thousand people digging in my backyard so the valley of ants, the field of ants, where silver and gold comes out. Mm. As Imam Sadiq said, there are one valley of Allah <laughs> where silver and gold is grown. Me. Silver and gold, they grow there. You would see it, it's like a day you find a tree of gold, you know. So you can grow, you can grow gold and silver there, brother. And listen, this is not my story. I mean, this is your prophet's story. So don't laugh at me. Please don't, don't hurt my feeling. I'm very sensitive, you know, ask my teachers. And he has protected it with weakest creatures like ants. Look, 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 look. Look the wisdom of Allah. And if a powerful army wants to enter, it cannot do so. Like, what the heck? If a powerful army want to enter the valley of the ants, it cannot do so. A second ago, you said they were hiding. Ah, they hide because Suleiman is allowed to enter the valley. Other army cannot. <laughs> now we know why the Jews, they, were, they are very rich. <laughs> you ask yourself, why the Jews are very rich? Why? I mean, Suleiman, he went to the valley of the ants. 
he got all the silver and the and the and the and gold he want maybe he even shuffled it all you never know maybe he took everything you know maybe he even made them bankrupt like the ants when he left the ants they found all their furniture is taken Ibn uh, Baboya, according to look, according to a reliable chain of narration, narrators, reliable. Listen, please take a note. Narrators from Imam al Sadiq that when an ant conversed others, uh, the wind took their conversation to Sulaiman. See, here we go. They refuted me. I was asking how Sulaiman was able to hear the story. Like how? I mean, we cannot hear the ants. I mean, why today man is sleeping in the ground and he have a microphone, very sensitive microphone, so he can hear and listen what is happening under the ground or even in the top of the ground? No, brother. The wind carried the conversation of the ants to Prophet Solomon. At the time when he was... What? At the time when he was in the air, look, 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 look. The story is getting complicated. Suleiman now is a flying with the flying carpet. Okay, just to show you the stupidity of this religion. How the ant she said to the ant, hide, otherwise Suleiman will crush you if the guys are flying in the top of a flying car, right? Hey Muslims, do you have a brain? How he will crush them? How Suleiman, if we go to the verse in the Quran, it says, hide otherwise Suleiman will destroy you, he will step on you. So how it is, he is a flying in the in, in the flying carpet, and now he's going to crush them. Do you see the stupidity? And then the Muhammadan, they say to you, who can make Quran like this Quran? For sure nobody can make Quran like this Quran. You will be the mockery of everybody, especially if you are saying this is a serious story. So Suleiman was flying thousands of miles in the sky and he was able, the ants, the air, the air sorry, carry the speech of the ant to him like Mayday, Mayday. Hello? Mayday, Mayday, do you hear me? Who is, who is there? Mayday, Mayday. Anyone hear us? Please give us your location. Mayday, 2,000 feet above the sea. Mayday, GBS 00210, 5, Alpha. Okay, please. Can you tell us the purpose of your visit for our atmosphere? I am Suleiman. Hello. The ant, she did not respond to Suleiman. She is scared now. She, her, her feet is shaking. Like, what the heck? This is Suleiman is coming. What the heck? And then the, 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 the ant, she flipped the, uh, the, the, uh, the wave, you know, like uh, to the band, you know, different band. And she spoke to the ants. Warning, 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 warning. Suleiman is coming. He's an idiot. He will crush you, okay? Be careful, this guy is blind, he, and his army is full of Jews. They, you know what the Jews will do? You know Jews, they do what the Jews do. Hello? Warning, 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 okay? And, and hide your money. And don't, don't, don't put it in the banks, okay? If the Jews of army of Suleiman, they said to you, put it in the bank, don't listen to them. It's haram. Okay. So Suleiman is now flying on the air, and the wind carried the speech of the ants to Suleiman. And Suleiman asked the strong wind to stop. Stop! You see, voice command was exist in Islam before anyone else. This is the car of Suleiman, which is a flying carpet. Voice command. This is in the Quran, by the way. The Quran says, Allah subjugated the wind, the flying carpets to Suleiman. Stop! In the, the flying carpet, like, you know, you can see until now, by the way, the mark in the syphilt. The flying carpet, like, she put the brake right away. She, you know, can't move, like, because that's it. The command of uh, Prophet of Allah. 
So he gave a, a voice command, Alexa, stop the flying carpet. You know, and right away, uh, Alexa, stop the flying carpet. Hmm. And then uh, called out the ant. <sighs> Look at this. He asked him, bring me this ant. Go and find this ant. And by the way, it's very easy to find the ant. I mean, come on. It's very, very easy. The ant who spoke, he can find her right away. This is the easiest job ever to find an ant who say the word. You know? You know what I'm saying? I mean, imagine if your mother-in-law, she said to you, I heard an ant outside talking, go and find that ant. Just imagine. There is a billions of ants, and they were able to find that ant specifically. So he called out the ant. It come to Suleiman. Oh, she come willingly. He says, "Ant, hey, come here. Where are you?" The ant, you know, she come willingly. Like we skip. Okay. Well, we we move the text. All right. All right. So now, it came to Suleiman. He said. Don't you know that I am a prophet of Allah and I do not oppress anybody? Prophet of Allah, don't oppress anybody. I mean, this guy is coming to, to invade <laughs> and to steal the throne of a woman. Her name is Balqis, according to the Quran. But he don't oppress anyone. I mean, look, this is a this is Robin Hood. This is Robin Hood. He steal only from the rich. Yeah, brother. Robin Hood. Look like Suleiman Islam, his name changed, and all the prophets of Islam, they are very nice people, you know. And Muhammad don't oppress anyone, are you kidding me? The one who changed the religion killed him. He cut a woman two pieces by tying her between two camels. He sent the, one of his men to assassinate an old man, he's almost 100 years old, or even over, we don't know the actual number exactly. So he asked the ant, don't you know I don't oppress anybody? The ant said, yes, yes, I know. Suleiman said, then why you scare others from me? Huh? And order them to enter their holes. Like, you know, Suleiman, he took it seriously. This female ant, she is trying to mess up his reputation. You know, like, so sound like in, you know, Russian propaganda, you know. Why you told the other ants to scare you? Why you scare other ants from me and order them to hide in their holes? And look what the ant she said. This ant is a wise ant. She is not, not any very special ants, you know, like your ant. And she said, I was scared that when their vision falls on you, they will become fascinated at your beauty, at the beauty of the world. Look at this filthy ant. She is a flirting with Suleiman. I bet you this ant, when she saw Suleiman, she was touching herself. So the ant, she is saying to Solomon that I'm afraid because you are so sexy and you know it. When the ant, they will see you, they will be fascinated. Guys, put yourself in the shoes of those ants. Solomon is walking by down street. You know the song is called Walking Down Street, Mr. Solomon, Mr. Solomon, la la lum, la la lum. This is made by the ants. The ants, they start taking off their panties left and right. They could not resist Suleiman. He is sexy and you know it. So I was afraid that when those ants, they see uh, you, they, uh, they will become fascinated at the beauty of this world and they will be away from Allah. The ant will stop praying to Allah, doing Hajj. Uh, you know, now they will start doing fornication. You know? Do you see how Suleiman is... I mean, this Suleiman is something, even ants, even ants, he have an effect in ants, females, you know? I don't know about the chicken females, I mean, goats, 
I mean, what's wrong with this uh, Suleiman? I mean, I mean, I'm, I'm, I feel really jealous now. The ants. Hey, Muslims, are you with me? So those are the stories you are telling people nobody can write like them? Anyone? Any two? Any three? Who is a Muslim here want to say anything to us? Who is a Muslim? He can confirm that this is a true story. We have, I am a Muslim. Okay. He's a Muslim. He have a question about Christianity, but he is not worried about the answer stories. I mean, do you see how the Muslims are? I'm a Muslim. I have a question about Christianity. All of what we said, he heard nothing. <laughs> Muslims are funny, aren't they? So they try to avoid the embarrassment. I have a question about Christianity. Okay, can you please, please answer me? Well, the topic is not about Christianity. The topic about Mrs. Ant. Why you don't want to talk about it? Is it embarrassment? Is it, an, is it something you fear? Aren't you a strong believer? He's not answering. We called him, he is not answering. Do we have any Muhammadan here? You know, I remember once when I was in, the, you know, I used to go in the desert, stay like for two or three, four weeks, sometimes for, you know, a month, uh, you know, do hunting. You know, we take like AK-47, you know, clashing cough, and we take a big container for fuel because there's no gas stations and another one just for water. It's fun, you know, I mean, but I don't know what the ants was doing. Once I was there, this is a true story, by the way. And I saw an ant from far distant, and she was wearing a bikini. Now you might say to me, I mean, bikini in the desert, yes, they are taking sun tan. Hello? This ant, she was in the desert, and she was taking a sun tan. So if you don't, if you want to make a story, you say, no, this is not true, can't be true. Well, this is your problem. This is a true story, and I have witnesses. All right? So please give me a break. I know always people, they suspect an honest person, like a Muslim, telling a true story. Right away, they will suspect, and they start questioning, which is not logical. And even I took a, you know, a picture of her, of this ant from far distant. Look, she was laying down in the beach, I mean, in the sand, and she was wearing a bikini. And when she saw me from far away, she put her hands down. In the beginning, I thought she is grabbing a beer or maybe Pepsi Cola. Or you know what, maybe she got in her clothes up because I'm coming. Now I notice and now I figure it out. She was touching herself. And you know, it took her two seconds to have orgasm because with such hands, I mean, look how many hands she have, you know, I mean, unbelievable. And you can imagine how many fingers too. So, I mean, that will make it faster. She's done. It was very fast. So the ant, she saw Solomon and she warned the other ants to hide because they will be fascinated. But the Quran says they, they, he will crush you. She didn't say because your friend is fascinated. Let me take this picture off because I know many of you are getting tempted now. May God forgive me. I'm tempting people here. I hope there's no lesbian in town. So, uh, if their visions, if their eyes fail on you, they will become fascinated with the beauty of the world and they will be turned away from Allah. The end asked Suleiman, 
Who is more honorable? Look at the conversation between the ant and Solomon. You know? And by the way, the Muhammadan, they have movies and YouTubes about those things, in case you do not know. Look. There is tons of cartoons made by Muslims. This is the army of Solomon. Solomon stop entire army for one ant. Must watch, brother. <laughs> I love it when must watch. It's a must to watch. The entire army. But look in this cartoon here, the army is walking. In the story there, the army is flying. Hello? Hello, do you hear me? You hear me? All right, what do you think about the story? We are, are you a Muslim first? Oh, yes, I am. Oh, uh, yes, that's good. I like what I'm Muslim say, oh, yes. You are excited, my friend. So what do you think about the story we are talking about? About the ant and... Oh, I have heard this since I was a kid, and uh, you provided a different perspective, but for a while now I've been Give wanting me your perspective. To... Give me your perspective, no problem. About the ant? Yeah, what do you think? I'm not so well versed um, in, in the story of the ant. No, 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 no. I mean, uh, what do you mean? You said you heard it since you were a kid, and now you are watching me, so you did read it. I mean, all the ant story is a few lines. Anyway, just tell me, what do you think? Well, I just I have a few questions. No problem. And I have a few uh, embarrassing questions, too, and I just gave you one, and you are trying to avoid it. Well, I don't want to... Uh... Give, I, I don't want to answer when I'm not too knowledgeable about it. You do what, 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 what? I don't want to answer if I'm not too knowledgeable about it. Okay. What are you knowledgeable about? About, well, I've been for about a year now, I've been studying the Torah, the uh, Christian So you are Bible, knowledgeable with the Torah? The Quran. You are knowledgeable with the Torah? Well, I've been studying as okay. much as I could. Well, as long as you are knowledgeable the, about the Torah and the Quran, as you said, you were, you said you and are then, and then studying the, and for And then the New year. Testament. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. The New Testament. I I've been uh, listening to... I want to ask you in, you, in the Quran, there's a guy, his name is Israel. Who is Israel? Uh, Jacob. Uh, How you Jacob. Know Who told you that? Yeah. Well, I've been, again, I've been studying... I'm um, not asking you if you are studying or not. I'm asking you who told you that. Who told me that? Yeah. Well, I, uh, Rabbi, I've been Jacob. Uh, see, is, is so Israel. you are taking your knowledge as a Muslim from the Jews. You are not. A, then you are not a Muslim, isn't it? Allah says, "Don't listen to the rabbis." Isn't it says the well, rabbi they took the, the the Jews and the Christian they took their monks and the rabbis as God. Are you doing the same as the Christians? The, according to the Quran, they took the rabbi and the monks as their gods. And now what you do, you as a Muslim, I ask you a question about Israel. You go and ask a rabbi. Why you don't ask Allah? Well, rabbis are uh, knowledgeable about their scriptures. Are you saying Allah and your prophet are not knowledgeable? No, they're knowledgeable. So, okay, I'm asking you about Israel. Tell me from Islam, who is Israel? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I want to ask you questions about Christianity. Um, I don't care what you think about Christianity. Because here it's not I am, what I think. No, no, I'm I don't care what you think. No, no, I'm interested in the religion, and I'm I don't want you to convert to Christianity. I don't want you to convert to Christianity. I'm here to show people that Islam is a stupid religion, and you are trying to avoid that. It's so it's not idolatry and pagan like Christian, like Christianity. It's what, but it's I want what? you to it's clear like it up what? for me. It's not like what? It's not idolatry like your religion. So why why is, your prophet you kiss a black? So why your prophet kiss a black stone? So, so it's not you guys. So say why your it's prophet licking, kiss a black stone? You are talking about idolatry, idolatry, and your prophet kiss a stone, and you Muslims kiss a black stone. So why you kiss it? So, so the black stone is set from heaven, and we kiss it just to revere it. It's holy. You, you kiss it for it's what? From heaven. You kiss it for what? It's, it's holy. It's from heaven. Okay, can you show me where in the Quran it says Allah He sent the black stone from heaven? So Habibi in the Quran, Habibi. it says. Uh -huh. In in the Quran it says. To follow the Quran and the Sunnah, and in the Sunnah, okay. that's how we know okay. that it's from where heaven Allah we, we he ordered Muhammad to kiss the black stone. And if we that, don't worship and, it, though, and if no, you worship it because kissing it is an act we don't of worship belief. It. We don't no, no, worship no, okay, it. okay. Is it is the black it. stone holy? 
yeah, it's 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 holy in a sense where exactly. it from, it, it's from heaven. Okay, but we so, don't worship. That. Okay, so if you a donkey, if a donkey saints, came from heaven, you guys you worship said, the cross. If Allah, he sent, as an cross. example, Allah, he sent a you donkey. It's called the blood Al-Burak. of Christ. Listen, listen. Uh, Allah, he sent a donkey from heaven. It's called Al Burak to Muhammad to take him to the seven heaven. If that donkey is still in not the a ka- donkey, around the not Kaaba, a donkey, are not you a going donkey. to? It was a it was a horse, not a donkey. Don't no, it was reference. actually it was a mule. You want to see, see, see a reference? Mule. Mule. Okay. Which, okay. Uh, well, so if the if the mule important. if the mule was staying is still entering now around the Kaaba, are you Muslims going to kiss his uh, his body and his his bum? If the mule was with with us now, his what? Yeah. If the of course, sure. You will kiss the mule. Of course. Why you will kiss the mule? Because he's from heaven. Yeah, of course. Okay. Why did you guys kiss the cross? Uh, we, no, we don't have to. This is because Jesus he died in the cross. This is symbolic, but we don't have Why, to. And this oh, is, yes. And this yes, is not from the Bible. The, this is not yes, from the. We kiss this the is rock, not from the Bible symbolic. teaching. No, hold on. This is not from the Bible it's teaching. Not from the Quran. Listen, listen. Teaching. Did Jesus kiss the cross? Uh, because Jesus was not even okay. Jesus did, was did a the prophet. disciple kiss the cross. No. Okay. So if people do that, this is what they do. This is their this is their their uh, their idea. But in but Christianity, listen, listen, you are making things up. In Christianity, not. there's nothing called kiss the cross. So you are saying things. It's not like in Islam when I say to you about the black we don't stone. Need to kiss the when cross. I say in the black stone, you're a prophet. He kissed it. Correct. Okay. Okay. Uh, whatever. So it's, in a Christianity, it's not, it's not it's the disciple or neither cares? Jesus a, kiss the stone. It's no. a beautiful no. stone. Okay. Adi. Okay. Hold on. It's, it's like a, kissing a. It's a mountain. beautiful stone. What beautiful. if I show you that there's no stone? What do you mean there's no stone? There's no stone. You are. You know. You are. You are you fooling yourself? The black stone does not exist. Uh, I, I've, I've been to Mecca, it doesn't say it exists. Okay, That's you've been to Mecca, or no problem. As long as you claim to be the Mecca, look with me in the screen, and tell me if I'm lying or not. This is in Mecca, and I will show you the stone in the screen. Here we go. This is what you have left of the black stone. You have a small, tiny rocks, and there's no black stone. So you are lying to me, and lying to yourself, because if Allah He sent the black stone from from the from the heaven, then the black stone should stay there. I can't. I can't see it on the screen. You said you're sharing a, a yeah, now video. Yeah, we'll just give it a second. Maybe it's coming to you. You will see it. Refresh it. Do you see what is the black stone? There's no black stone. You have some rocks around oh, small sorry, rocks. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, sorry, sorry. That's my fault. Hmm. So why you why you Muslims lie to yourself and you say it to me you went to Mecca and you kissed the black stone? Didn't you notice that this is not a stone? This is just rocks. Um. Let me see. I'm gonna Google myself because maybe you show me a bit. Yeah, I just picture. Google too. You know, I use Google all the time. I will see. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, that's right. Mm. Um, so there's no black stone. Well, it's it, it can be well because of erosion. It might have been discovered. Erosion. It's okay. Erosion. Why is it made from copper or uh, uh, iron? Well, uh, in, uh, iron was also set from the heavens. Oh, no so. problem. We will go to that. We will love to. But listen carefully. You said to me that this stone came from the heaven, right? Why Allah He sent this stone? Because he wanted, he sent it. Well, Adam and Eve first built something like the Kaaba to, um, to worship God in some okay. way, and then okay. Ibrahim so, okay. and Ismail. Okay. So when Allah is in the stone, he said the full stone, correct? Mm-hmm. Is that correct? Yes. And the stone was in the shape of a vagina. Is that correct? Vagina. No. Yeah. Well, here we go. This is the this is the this is the original shape of the stone. Read it. Look. Look. Look at it. Vagina. Okay. 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 Continue. Huh? Continue. Yes. Continue. What's okay. Your point? So it's a vagina. So why uh, Allah He sent the stone in the shape of a vagina? Who? What? It's. Not, it doesn't exactly look like a vagina. So it looked like what? It looked like what? It looked like what? It's. It's. It's oval. It's you oval. Know, it's an oval shape. Ah. Yeah, it's just an oval shape. It's not a vagina. M and M. Okay. Is it no, true I mean, in the books of Tafsir it says that Muslim women, I mean, before Islam, the I have women, a question. Why don't you want to answer? You will, my no question. problem. I'm genuinely interested. Aren't, aren't you enjoying Doesn't the conversation? 
You see, you're, you're, because you call us, I, I you call us pagan, you you're called us pagan, and now you are the pagan. I, I want you you to are the clear one who my, go around the stone, you, you kiss a stone. Not only that, not only that. Is it true? Is it true? Is it true? The stone erase your sin. Um, astaghfirullah, I don't believe that would erase. Okay, my, my so are you saying this is not a true? I'm lying. I wouldn't believe it. But show I don't, me the I don't hadith, care. and even I'm then, now you. all the I'm hadiths are accurate. Am I lying if I say that you Muslims believe that the stone forgave your sin? Show me evidence. I'm asking you before I show you. Are you saying that this is impossible? Because you said astaghfirullah. Like to... You said astaghfirullah. What does that mean? That's mean the one who believes in such a thing, he's what? He's following shaitan, right. correct? Yes, of course. Okay, thank you, guys. He said the one who believed the black stone erased the sin of a human being of a Muslim. He is following shaitan. Thank you very much. Here we go. Well, uh, hold on. You said. You said. Of course. You said. Of course. Everybody heard you. You. you got... I, I want. I want an accurate hadith like Bukhari. Oh, okay, no problem. He want guys. He want an accurate hadith. Now, now he is adding more conditions. A second ago, he said, "Yeah, for sure." Auzu billah, astaghfirullah. You know. Yeah. And now he want an accurate hadith. Listen carefully. Accurate. Accurate. accurate, hadith. accurate yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Here we go. This is an accurate hadith. Tirmidhi is not accurate. We don't accept it. Who said it's a Tirmidhi? And who said a Tirmidhi is uh, not accurate? I just saw Tirmidhi. No, you did not see anything. You're blind, uh -huh. like your prophet. Uh -huh. Okay, I. Okay, Bukhari. Okay, I see it now. I did not say it's Bukhari too. You, you are, you, you, you are a person who have a special vision, my friend. Read yeah, it. I'm trying to read. Read it. Read it. Read it. First of all, a Tirmidhi is Sahih. Al Bukhari is Sahih. Uh, Ibn Majah is Sahih. All those are the six, okay, can you, six authentic can you books up? of Hadith. Can you scroll up so I can make sure which type of book is it? It says here the Book of Hajj. Book of Hajj. Abdul. Book of Hajj. It was no, narrated from Abdullah ibn Hajj. Ubay. I don't accept Book of Hajj. I only accept Bukhari. Oh, uh, you only accept Bukhari? Yeah. Okay. I'm not as Sunni as others are. You are not what? I'm not as Sunni as others are because there's a lot of bullshit hadiths. There's a lot of bullshit hadith. Yes. Okay, let me ask you, there's a lot of bullshit Quran too? Astaghfirullah, no, of course not. Okay. We don't have no as problem. many contradictions okay. hold on, hold on, hold in the on, New hold Testament. On, hold 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 on. That's why I called you. Listen, no listen, 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 listen. We are having a conversation. You speak. But wouldn't, if wouldn't we Jesus want time, you to okay, clear my misconception? If we talk in the same time, Nobody understand. So for your benefit, just give me space. I will give you space. Why won't so, you educate so me? The hadith in front of me says that the one the prophet says the one who touched the black stone and the Yemeni corner, those two corners, it erased his sin. Why you don't accept this hadith? Because it's not in Bukhari. So you accept only in Al Bukhari? Yes. Okay. So if I show you now something from Al Bukhari, you promise me you will accept. A hundred percent, of course. Hundred percent, no problem. A hundred percent. All right, be my witness. Show me anything, guys. Be my witness. He is, mm -hmm. uh, you know, he is a person. Well, he I'll accept. Say, well, he I accept. Al my friend. Okay, hold on. He is a person who accept Al Bukhari, uh, one hundred percent. Uh, it's one not me minute. who said that. All right. I'll even say, Al Wallahi, I will accept it. You, you did not what say? I Wallahi, I will accept it. Wallahi, he will accept it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, what does that mean? I swear by Allah, I will accept. No, no, hold on. You swear by Allah by saying Wallahi? Yes. Okay, if I say Billahi, am I swearing by Allah? Uh, we, we, we say Wallahi or Billahi, yeah. Okay, do Allah swear by Allah? Um... In the Quran, I, I believe when I read the Quran, he did, yes. Allah, he swear by Allah. Mm -hmm. Why? Show me the hadith. You said to me, I, I believe, yes, in the Quran. So why are you asking me to show you? So the Quran says that Allah, he swear by Allah. Why Allah swear by Allah? It's okay if he does. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Isn't it weird? I mean, if Allah, he it's is the not, God. It's not weird. If Allah okay. is the God, why he swear weird. by God? It's not as weird as three being one. 
Ah, okay, it's not weird. Ah, I see. Okay, now let us go and see what we can find in Al-Bukhari. So mm -hmm. we can love together. And remember, you are the one who said that uh, you accept Al-Bukhari. Let us go and see what Al-Bukhari will give us. You know, give me a second. Uh, Bukhari, Bukhari, Bukhari. Where is Bukhari? We want Bukhari for Mr. Uh, Allah in now in heaven, right? I really respect your huh? knowledge, which is why I called to ask he, uh, questions. Allah, Allah right now is not... in Allah right now is in heaven. Yeah, um, Allah is can be Allah can be in heaven. His spirit can be in heaven on earth within us. His he spirit can be everywhere. His spirit, of course. Allah have a spirit, of course. According to who? Well, according to the Quran. Where? Remember, Show Allah me, bestowed His spirit. Okay. To, uh, yeah, but Jesus. you Muslim, you say his spirit is Jibreel. There's two opinions on that. It can be. Ah, there is two opinions. Jibreel, I see. Or it could be so Allah's okay, spirit. let me ask you then: Is Allah is a person and the spirit is a person? You said because Allah can be up in heaven, and his spirit is down on earth. Uh, so so that's what why I wanted to ask. That's why I wanted to call you because no I problem. To ask you about um, so that. let us talk about it. Is Allah now a spirit in earth? And Allah as a body is in heaven. So here's a problem that I have with Christianity is you guys really My friend, I'm asking you, Father is Allah now heaven? body in heaven listen, listen, and listen, his spirit talking, down I'm in talking. earth? You I'm, say I'm asking, you said Allah spirit, you Allah guys, spirit down in earth and Allah is in heaven. Do we have now to Allah? That. Do we have to Allah? That. So what uh, explain I to never, me? Go ahead. So what I said was Christianity has a tendency of separating the father only stays in heaven and then the his spirit in earth okay uh, so allah us, okay, we, we, will go with that. we will go with this for now so uh, we're you so allah so so allah what is allah now allah heaven. i said to you allah is one you said to one me person. allah he allah is one but he is in the heaven right heaven and earth his okay. spirit is in heaven and earth his what, spirit what is, is in, in the antarctica earth? the spirit is in the earth everywhere on ocean the spirit is in the earth everywhere everywhere so is the spirit is even inside, within us? Is the spirit is inside Allah? Allah's spirit is inside of us. No, inside Allah. Allah. Is inside it inside Allah and yeah. us? Is it inside Allah? Yes. So Allah have inside and outside. Yes. So he have a body. Not a body, as in what our type of body. Uh, no, no. Allah when you say everywhere. inside him, that's mean inside him. Allah's spirit is within us. It's everywhere. This is not the question. I'm talking about the spirit inside Allah. You said you said to me, yes, Allah spirit is inside Allah. Allah spirit is within Allah, within us, within. This is another question. Every, Focus with me, single... my friend. You, just don't don't try to add liquid to the door. So you can miss it up and say there's no question. I'm asking you, is the spirit of Allah is inside Allah? Mm -hmm. I shouldn't have said it's inside of Allah. It's not. In, it, Allah doesn't have a body. It's what? Allah doesn't have a body. Allah does not have a body? No. Okay. So don't Allah have teeth? No. Do he have face? No, I I know I know where you're heading. Okay, no. Um, so you said no. You said no. Uh, do he have hands? Let us continue. Do he have hands? No, but in the Quran when it described no no, um, is say Allah yes or no? Hands. I'm not asking you for details now. I'm saying, do he have hands? No. Do he have a foot? No. Okay. Let us see if this is true not. or not. Hold on. And I criticize the Islamic okay. scholars. Okay, hold on. Let us see. Let us examine what you said is if it's true or you are playing games and you are not being honest as all Muslims as usual. You said to me. To you said to me. You accept Al Bukhari. You said to me. You accept Al Bukhari. As... You said to me. You accept Al Bukhari, and there is no question. I try to be as honest as the possible. The hadith is in front of you. Read for me, Al Bukhari. Okay, give me a second.
Okay, the, um, is it narrated in us? Is it this one? Al Bukhari, you said to me, Al Bukhari, you like Al Bukhari. Now you are questioning who is the narrator? No, no, no. I'm, uh, my YouTube is lagging. I want to be sure I'm reading the right no one. No problem. Narrated Anas, yeah. Okay. Hmm. You want me to read it? Yeah, go ahead. The Prophet said the people will be thrown into hell and it will keep on saying, Is there any more? Till the Lord of the worlds put his foot over it, whereupon its different sides will come close to each other and it will say, uh, God, God, enough, enough, by your Azat and your Kareem. Paradise will remain spacious enough to accommodate more people until Allah will create some more people. Mm -hmm. So, you said to me, Allah doesn't have foot. Uh, Allah does not have a foot. It just it's it's anthropomorphism. It is what? I'm not sure if, if I mispronounce it, but anthropomorphism it essentially just gives. Uh, human-like or animal-like characteristics to so is it a real foot being. or it's a fake foot it's a metaphor well, who said so it's a metaphor he where, doesn't where it says where it says metaphor where it says metaphor where you get from from you see first of all not even a single well, not even literally. a single muslim sunni scholar as agree with you that this is a metaphor this is number one okay, well, i can okay, go well, right now and search in google saying. my friend i can search on youtube i will find a million videos made by muslims saying yes allah have a foot allah have a hands allah have a face allah have eyes allah have ears allah have a, 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 a then in that case huh? then in that case then in that case jesus is god in that case what in that case then jesus would be god in that case jesus would be god yeah but okay. Jesus is not God you, because he has a foot, hands, legs, feet, eyes. Okay, so you are saying to me, so you are saying to me in that case, uh, Jesus is God. So when the Quran says, I created Adam, I created him by my two hands. Is that metaphorical? Yes. So how Allah created Adam? Allah created Adam just as he said he created Jesus B when he said B. Okay, so that's mean the Quran is a lie because the Quran says Allah he made mud, <coughs> he fashioned the mud, he shaped the mud, he breathed into the mud, and this is and he used his hands to create Adam. It's in the front of him. You said to me it's a metaphorical. Who agree with you? Yeah. Well, I don't care who agrees. I care about my interpretation. Ah, uh, you have your own interpretation. Mm -hmm. So the Quran in Arabic is not clear. When Allah He says, "I created him by my two hands," Allah is lying. Well, let's see. What about the Jewish rabbis? Do they agree with you that Allah has so hands, do, eyes? So, do you ears? take your religion from the Jewish rabbi or from the Muslim rabbi and your prophet and your Quran? I base my interpretation first off of. What I believe, and then what Prophet Muhammad taught. Okay. And also did your Jewish prophet and... did did your prophet Muhammad believe that Allah created Adam by his two hands? I don't believe so, because why would God have two hands? God doesn't have two hands. He All he right. tries to convey his message by saying hands or I breathe into blah blah blah. So but Allah don't have two exactly hands. How many have he ha How many hands he have? Nothing. He doesn't have a body. You don't have a body. All right. Let us see. Let us see if this is true or not. Read for me. It says here that both his hands are right hands. And this is, I will give you another hadith here. Let us read this one. And people will start laughing at you now because you said you accept Al Bukhari and you, there's no way you will question Al Bukhari for a second, right? Of course. Okay. You said, of course. I like it when you say, of course. Here we go. Not only he have hands, Allah he have fingers. Read with me, and this is Sahih Bukhari. And your prophet agree in this hadith that Allah he hold the earth in two earth in two hands. One. Uh, finger sorry and one finger for the mountains and one finger for the trees and one finger for all creatures and then he would say I am the king 
and you're a prophet he agree with it and that he doesn't accepts. necessarily mean that he has a finger or hand again he, he's just trying to allow us to under, oh, so, understand so even when you're a prophet he say finger one finger to do this one finger to do that he don't mean fingers so what he meant by fingers yeah, just, just what well, he meant by fingers. he wants us to better understand Okay, no, 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 hold on. Don't tell me better understand. Hand. Why he used the yeah. word finger? Why are you taking everything so literally? I mean... Okay, listen. I say, I say, you are just a hypocrite man and you have no dignity because it is you Muslims who take it literally, not me. All Muslim Sunni okay, books say this is literally what happened. Well, that's them, not me. Okay, so you are saying to me now, you are the only one Muslim in the world who laugh at this. Yeah. Uh, actually, you're you're lying because there's some Islamic scholars that say name Allah one. has body parts, and there's name others one. that say name he one. Does not. Name one. I can't name them, but I've seen videos, and also just name the one. Other no, that name I speak one. You, you see, I can open right now. I can open right now the verses you mentioned I mentioned to you that Allah created Adam by His two hands, and we will see if Allah created Adam by His two hands. You know, do you accept the scholars? We can show the scholars. Name one for me, and I will put in the screen. Name one scholar that says Allah doesn't have. No, uh, I'm saying parts. name a scholar who agree with you. Because all the scholars agree that Allah have hands. Yes, Rivaldi once said Allah doesn't have body parts. Who is the one who did not agree? Yes, Rivaldi. Yes, Rivaldi. He said that. Yes. Yes, Rivaldi is the one who said he don't believe in Gog and Magog to be exist. No, Yes, Rivaldi said. Gog and Magog do, do exist. No, he said. Uh, he's let me, let me, let me quote what he said. I've watched let me quote what he said. I have his video. Let us see what he said. Uh, he said, if you are telling me that there is a dam exist since that time until now made of copper, yeah, it's up to you believe in that. Me, I cannot take it. I have a degree in engineering. I cannot take it. Is that correct? I, I, do you know Islam Q and A? Islam Our friend, Q &A don't tell me website. Islam Q and A. You tell me. You said you said mentioned uh, somebody. He said that the Islam Quran, the Quran have holes. The standard narrative has holes. He don't he, he, he don't accept the story in the Quran. He don't he accept the up. story in the Quran that there is a dam built by, by by Alexander the Great. It's a real dam. Okay. But can I just say the Quran doesn't have super big contradictions like the New Testament does? Why? Okay, so you want to change topic? Want to talk about contradiction? Want well, to talk about contradiction? That, those are my questions. You, want, you, you don't want to talk want about contradiction? Oh, no, no. You see, questions. you see, because now you you're in the corner. You mentioned to me. Questions. You mentioned someone to me. You he don't me accept to even the Quran to be written the way it is. And you mentioned somebody to me. He don't believe even in the dam which is mentioned in the Quran to be exist. And you mentioned someone to me. He says there is a st the standard narrative has holes in it. And you are saying he is a scholar. First of all, he's a scholar. The guy don't even know how to read Arabic properly. And he is just live between us. When we say scholars, you see, when we say scholars, why you didn't say to me, I accept Hadith from uh, from this guy? You said to me, Al-Bukhari. I do accept Bukhari. Okay. But why you did not say, I accept the Hadith from Yasir Qadi? Yeah, Yasir Qadi is actually is a scholar of Hadiths. He is a scholar. But do you accept the Hadith, hadith. From, from Yasir Qadi? Tafsir. Do you accept? Um, the, do you accept the hadith from Yasser Qadi? Uh, there's some things that I disagree with him on. What is that? Like I disagree with how he wants the Islamic community to be more tolerant of LGBT. He he was under heat because of saying that. Um, well, well, what do you mean, uh, Muhammad LGBT? Hijab? What do you mean LGBT? Yeah. You, you know, your prophet was a gay. <laughs> no, he wasn't. So okay, that. let me ask oh, you what on. what gay mean? What gay mean? How, how many women are at what the gay, tomb? What gay mean? How many women are at the tomb? I'm asking you what gay mean. So, so what? How many women? How many women are at the tomb? So you really don't want to answer. How it many women? What? It's how something that how many women? You. What? How many what? How how many women are at the tomb in the Gospels? That's the contradiction that frames you. That's how many women are at the tomb? Oh, no, yeah. we can answer that. No problem. But we let's finish this one. Mm -hmm. Because you are jumping like a monkey from place to place. So well, the Quran says, no, listen, 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 listen. I can open question. Ibn Kathir, I can open Ibn Kathir, Al Qurtubi, Al Tabari, Al Jalalain, those are the scholars, not Yasser, Yasser Qadi. And I can even look for Yasser Qadi video about Allah have hands. 
and then you will get busted and then you will say to me i don't believe in yasir qadi allah doesn't have hands no okay. allah doesn't have body parts do your yasir, yasir qadi believe allah have hands or not i don't care what he believes huh? uh, that, that's a non-factor for me i'm asking you do yasir qadi believe that allah have hands or not does yasir qadi believe i don't know and i don't care so why you are believes. asking me what he's saying you said you accept what he's saying I never said I accept what Yasser Ghadi So says. what do you accept from him? I said... When I mentioned uh, to you, yes. listen, listen, you are just a kid. I mentioned to you, which scholar agree with you that Allah have no hands, no feet? You said Yasser Qadi. And now you are saying, yes. I do not know what Yasser Qadi said about this. Well, I've watched one of Yasser Ghadi's uh, lectures and he did You say, said, you just said... Uh, Allah doesn't I have accept, any body I accept what Yasser Qadi he said. Why would Allah have why would God have characteristics? Okay. So when Allah in the Quran, okay. when Allah in the you Quran, know, in Islam, Allah, we don't even listen, listen. That when Allah in the Quran, image, my friend, why do we not believe that? How many? We okay, hold on, God's hold image. on. When Allah in the Quran he says, "I created Adam by my hands," did he say this is a parable, or he just said my hands? Does it, who cares if he didn't say it's a parable? We How do you know then a it's a parable? How do you know it's a metaphorical? Because, because why would Allah have characteristics that he bestows upon his creation? Okay. And in Islam, we don't believe that we were created in God's image. All right. That So why would we... Like we, we never say, oh, God created us in his image. Do you see Allah? Can you see Allah physically or Allah cannot be seen physically in the, let us say, in the day of, in the heaven? In the heaven, yeah. um, I, I I remember I was told a story by one of our shaykh at the masjid hmm. that we, we uh, may be able to see Allah at the seventh heaven, at the highest heaven. Okay, what you where... will see in Allah heaven? You said you maybe we will see what you will see. Are you going to see a physical body or not? Allah alam. This is another question. I'm not, don't tell me Allah Allah. Allah. No, Allah you said Allah. you said what you, heard, Musa, the you, said you heard the story. You said you heard this, my friend. You said you heard. You said you heard the story. What did Musa? Say? You said because if Allah don't have a body, how you will see somebody don't have a body? That will be illusion. What What did Musa say? I'm asking you: Is is that a body or it is an illusion? What did Musa say? The Bible says, and the Quran the story story from the Bible says that Musa saw the fire, saw bushes. Doesn't the Quran say that? Well, when when Allah showed uh, Musa when Musa was on the mountain, Musa, uh, yani he he fell to the ground because he couldn't take all the light that was mm. um, that was. So what we will see in the sky. what we will so see did, in the day. Okay. See, what see we will see things? when we go, Musa he could not see, uh, but what you will see as a Muslim when you go to heaven. Exactly. So, wait, finish. You said Musa did not, uh, could not see. Could not see what? According to your Quran, could not see Allah. And wasn't that in the Bible too? That I, I'm not talking about the Bible. I'm talking about you now. Did Allah show well, himself to Musa? Uh, he did. And then the mountains collapsed. Musa fell to okay, the ground. Okay, hold on. So, you just say that Musa, he saw Allah. He saw a huge gleam of light he wasn't able to see allah himself because okay. it was too powerful okay. what when the when the muslim they will see allah in the day uh in the heaven time what exactly you will see you said to me i do not know but you said to me you know the story so what the story says uh in the seventh heaven uh what we would see yeah well we i was told we would see allah but i'm not really sure no, but uh, you said you know the story, you heard the story, you saw the story. Yeah, I was told that we would see Allah um, in the seventh heaven if we're righteous enough. What exactly, it's, what exactly the story, where the story you know, the world is seeing Allah from which book? Oh, I'm not sure. I didn't dig that. But it's not Al Bukhari? I'm still, it's not Al Bukhari? I'm still, it might be. I, I, Allah, I'm, I'm trying. Okay, but you to said to me you accept Al Bukhari only. My faith. But you said you accept Al Bukhari only. Of course. But you just said you heard the story and you believe you will see Allah, but you are not sure it's from Al Bukhari. Well, if that story is not from Bukhari, then 
even better but, I won't accept but it. But then but that mean you accept other stories from other books. Um uh, no, I don't. Oh, I know a lot do, but you just say to I me, I'm not sure if it's Al Bukhari, but yet you believe in the story, which you will see Allah, which means if it's not in Al Bukhari, you will accept any I story. Really, I never which, said I really believe it. I said a, a sheikh once told me this story and I kind of just like picked it up, but I'm not really crazy about this. So story. okay, let us repeat the question, go back to zero. Do you believe you will see Allah in the day of judgment? Yes or no? Do I truly believe that I will see Allah on the day of judgment? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, no. So if to be, if, I mean, I still haven't studied as much. Okay. I still, I'm learning. I'm a student of knowledge. All right. I'm still but learning. It, well, why you why you said no? You will not believe in such a thing. Well, because I still haven't learned that such a thing is, is possible. It's not in the scripture of the Bible, the Jewish Bible, and it's also um, not in the Quran. Okay. But and so, the but, but that's mean anyone who believes in this is a fraud. I'm still learning again. Can I'm you asking, answer my question? You are saying that the one who believe in this is a fraud. Can you answer my question? I'm asking you, the one who see such a thing or say such a thing, he is a fraud. Uh, I don't want to say that because again, I have. Okay, just what, let us summarize this. Do Allah have a shape or he don't have a shape? No. No. All right. Well, everybody now will laugh at you. This is Al Bukhari. And this is your private uh, conversation in Al-Bukhari. And you said me, to me, hold uh, on. Again. You said to me, you accept Al-Bukhari word by word. Yes. Okay. This is Al-Bukhari. They ask your prophet, are we going to see Allah? He said, yes, you will see Allah. Are you going to be bothered to be able to see the moon when the sky is clear? They said, no. The sun when it's, uh, there's no cloud? They said, no. And then he continued his saying, then Allah will come to them in a shape. And remember, I asked you, do Allah have a shape? You said, no way, you know. Allah has a shape. Allah will come to them in a shape other than the one they know. Actually, in Arabic, it says the one they saw. So Allah will come to them in, in a shape other than the one they saw first time. And this hadith here is saying, the translation is saying, they know. And he will say, I am your Lord. And then they will say, we seek refuge with Allah from you this is our place and we want to talk to you until our Lord comes to us what do you think you said remember if Allah have a shape that means Jesus is God well I, I said I didn't say that I said if if Allah has eyes ears nose mouth then we just have to verify then it shatters the opinion of a lot of Muslims that Allah cannot have the body parts of the human so Jesus is not God okay no problem so Allah don't have a body but now Allah have a body because he have a shape well you can't say that I asked you a second ago and you reject to accept that Allah have a shape okay again I understood him now so I'm learning so, so let, so let us make it okay, clear anything I show you I got you busted with listen 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 so the conclusion is what is anything I show you I got you busted with and show how people you are running away from accepting who is your God. At the end, you said to me, I'm just a student of knowledge. I mean, this is the most stupid answer ever. Are you sure what that Allah have So what how come, how come, parts? how come, how come a, a second ago when I said to you, do Allah have a shape? You said, no, you did not say to I, me, I'm a student of knowledge. Of you, you gave me an answer. You said, no. Then if it's in Bukhari, then yeah, then he has a shape. A okay. Shape. So but, and you are the part? one who said, if Allah have a shape, Allah have a hand, Allah have a foot or have a body. That's mean Jesus is God. Yeah, and he doesn't have, well, he doesn't have any body parts, so. What do you mean body part? So now we have we have many hadith we have in the Al-Bukhari. You, you lie to me and you say to me that when Allah, he put his foot in the fire, hellfire, this is metaphorical. Here yeah, is we metaphorical. are talking about seeing Allah. And not only that, Allah will change his shape. Read, continue. The story is getting even more exciting. Allah will play hide and seek. So Allah now coming in a shape other than the one which they know. Exactly, which means that that shape is not human. It's a different shape that we have not Listen, seen. Listen, nowhere it says a human or not. I don't care. Maybe he's an octopus. That would be even more funny. Well, he's a beast. No problem. Again, guys, I agree with you. It's a shape of a beast, but no problem. It's a, it's a shape. Maybe it's other and than they know. When we say the word shape, do shape occupy a space? 
Yes, it does. Okay. So Allah is inside the space or he is outside the space? It's inside of the space. Allah is inside his creation. He's inside and outside, of course. Okay. No, don't tell me outside. I ask you, it's Allah now, Allah is a shape. Allah inside, now is a course. shape. There's no other Allah. Is there other Allah? Allah now is a shape. That shape is Allah. Whatever that shape is. Is that shape inside the space or out of the space? You said inside the space. Oh, sorry. A shape is outside, but his spirit is inside. The sh I'm talking about the space, the space. When we say shape, shape take a space. So do Allah is inside this, the space? Because you have to have, you have to create a space first to put a shape inside it. Uh, within our space now. So, the, so Allah have a shape of what then? The shape have a space, have a size. Okay, this 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 topic is not fruitful. Oh, you Can don't you like about... you, you don't like this topic because this topic is embarrassing. But look what happened now. Is the it's shape of Allah? Listen, listen. Is the shape of Allah, is the shape in front of us now? Is the real shape of Allah or the fake shape of Allah? Can you repeat that question? Is the shape of Allah, which the Muslim they will see in heaven, as you see in this hadith now, is it the true shape of Allah or Allah shape? Is it changeable or he replaces no, shape not, like a snake? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. What do you mean? Here it says, Allah will come to them. How come you became now so deaf and so like you don't understand? Allah will come to them in a shape other than what does that mean? Other than they know, so a shape that we do not know. Okay, that's mean Allah have many shapes, not only one. Do we agree? That did not, no, that, that doesn't mean that. What do you mean? See, it says other than the one they know. Yeah, it doesn't mean it. Okay, what do you mean doesn't mean? <laughs> doesn't and now mean let me, let me ask you the shapes. question which will make you have a diarrhea for the rest of your life. What is the shape the Muslims they know about Allah? It says other than they know, so we do not know. I'm asking you, what is the shape which your prophet claiming that you Muslims you know about Allah? It says other than the shape they know. Uh, what is that shape? Are you asking me? I'm asking you. You are the Muslim, not me. It says I'm he will you. come to them. He will come to them in a shape other than they they know the one they know. And I and I say we won't know unless we go to. The so are you heaven. saying that your prophet is a liar and he said that you Muslims know the shape of Allah but you don't know? He never said we know the shape of Allah. He it's said, just in the front of you. Come. It says a shape it's other than the one you know. Other than they know. Yeah, Allah a shape other than, they know. other than they know. Yeah. yeah, so we do not know. Yeah. No, hold on. What do you mean you don't know? It says he will come to you in a shape other than the one, other. which that means there's two shapes. One you know, and this one now, the one he is coming with, you don't no, know. No, 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 no. He's saying that there's, there's, uh, so the only shape that we know is like animal shape or human shapes allah will come to them in a shape other than they know so whether it's animal shapes human shape whether it's cube shape wonderful know, circle wonderful allah i like this answer thank you. you know so now if allah he come to them in a shape which is not the shape of an animal the muslim they will not like it because as you see they said to him <laughs> we seek refuge from you you said he will come to them in a shape other than the one they knew so because now Allah did not come in the shape of a goat, according to your just answer, uh, the Muslim will refuse him. Remember, you are the one who said, and I'm, I'm sure you are biting your fingers now, you are the one who said, no, 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 no. Oh, the other shape, that's mean Allah will come to them in a shape other than the one we know, like animals, a human. So now Allah, because he is not coming as an animal, the Muslim, they reject him. They will say to him, he will say to them, I am your Lord. They will say, no, we seek refuge from Allah with you. You know, from, you know, so Why? Allah. Can I ask you a question? Why no, are you don't ask me a question. question. You just say, you just say, you just say, everybody's dying You're laughing. You just say, you know, Allah will come you know in a Jewish shape rabbis, other than the one they you know, Jewish knew, rabbis which is laugh not at an you guys, animal. Right? Which is Jewish not, rabbis laugh at you. Guys I don't care about of, Jewish love. Uh, hold, hold on, hold on. We can talk to the Jewish rabbi because we will see what Jewish rabbi to your to do your prophet. We would we would die laughing. But don't escape the, the humility now of your God. 
So four now we discovered that your God, Allah, is an animal. How many women are at the tomb? Three women, four women, is Allah six is an women. Animal how many not? women are at the tomb? Is an how many Allah, women is are at Allah? the tomb? We will answer that. You are trying to escape. And then Paul. You are acting like a kid now. I speak like a man. So Paul, when he so, saw oh, okay, Jesus okay, in just Damascus, get why did the story... <laughs> Potato. You know, you're stupid. I mean, the question you are asking me is very, it's even even a kid, he can answer it. When the Bible, he mentioned the, the, the women, you know, we do not, you, you will see when they enter the house, you will see that they are reporting who else with them. So there is important people who they are in the story, they are mentioned. And there is people who they are not important when they don't want to mention them, they don't mention them. So if that is a contradiction for you, you're stupid, that means you are a donkey. But here we have a big contradiction for you. You Muslims, you keep lying to us saying that Allah is not a human. And not only that, you just said, Allah will come to them in a shape other than the one they knew, which mean not a shape of an animal or a human. You said that. That means the original shape of Allah is either an animal or a human. If you go two line more, but because you are illiterate like your prophet, you will see that Allah now will come to them in the shape which they know. And he will say, I am your Lord. Do you see it? And then Allah will come to them in a shape they know. And he will say, I am your Lord. And you are the one who said, if Allah have a body, that means Jesus is God. That means the you know the argument of Jesus can't be God because he have a body of a human being can't be accepted. Not to forget to mention that your stupid prophet he mentioned in Sahih Bukhari that Adam was created in the image of Allah. And this is exactly the statement in the Old Testament. Exactly, phrase by phrase. He reported that Allah Messenger are saying, when any of you fight his, uh, fight like his brother or somebody, he must avoid the face, for God created Adam in his image. So when you hit Adam in his image and his face, you are hitting the face of Allah. Do you see it? And this is Sahih Muslim, and this is Al-Bukhari. All the Quran saying Allah have hands, Allah have face, Allah have foot, Allah have a shin, Allah have five fingers, and then the Muslim, they call us, like when David was, was, was speaking with this street boy, the, the, the suckering boy, he asked him, Allah have a body part, he said, who said so? Who said so? If we go right now to YouTube and we search only for Muslim Sunni, we will find endless videos made by Muslims speaking about, about Allah hands, Allah feet, Allah legs, Allah even have a hairy legs. Do you see it? The only answer the Muslim they have, they say, well, Allah has a body not like others. Who care? My body is not like anyone else too. In fact, not a single human being, his body is the same because our DNA is different. This is why in the crime lab, they can find who are you if they have your DNA because your DNA is totally different. There's no two human beings in this earth have the same DNA. That's mean I'm God, Allah. 
Allah have hands. Allah have feet. This is your Muslim religion. Allah have face, Allah have two eyes, Allah have two hands, Allah have a foot, Allah have a shin. I wish I can play for the videos, we would die laughing. Zakir Naik agree, everybody agree. Look, this guy is so excited. The proof Allah has hands. Look how excited he is, Muhammad Khan. Does Allah have hands? The, the, uh, as as Al-Hakim says, yes, Allah have hands. He have hands, he have foot, he have shin. Yes, he have. And as you see, the guy, he said he accept Al-Bukhari. And we just showed him Al-Bukhari. Nothing else. This is Al-Bukhari and Muslim. All of this is authentic hadith. And Allah is 30 meter tall. And not only that, in the other hadith of Al-Bukhari, Allah not only he have to shape, Allah then he will show his shin. And this is a verse in the Quran. A Muslim, he come and he think, he found the contradiction in the Bible. We laugh at your contradiction. Literally, we laugh. But if I go with your logic about two women or three women, people will laugh at you because the Quran as an example says, how many angels they came to marry? One or many? One verse says one, one verse says many. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you see, I will just, I will take, I will take your logic just to show you how stupid Muhammad and are. You know, this religion, this religion is the most stupid religion ever. If we go with their logic, how many angels they spoke to Zechariah? How many angels they spoke to Mary? One or two? In this verse here it says, and when the angels, they say to Mary, hey Muslims, was it an angel or many angels? I'm just using your logic, not my, not my logic. You are the one who's saying, if there is here, it says one angel, there it says two angels, okay, well then. And this is mentioned in many places in the Quran. Actually, in the same chapter, chapter 3, verse number 42, it says, and when the angel said to Mary, and here again it says, and when the angel said to Mary, and then when Mary, she responds, she said, oh Lord, how I'm going to have a son. And then suddenly, he answered, he who? The Muslim translate, they say is Allah. But the Muslim believe that Mary, she never spoke to Allah. It's the angel spoke to Allah. In the same chapter. Do you see why we laugh at the Quran? Your logic, my friend, work against you. But for me, I don't care for those things. Because I can say, okay, here, he meant the angel speaking to Mary. He don't mean like to say in details, like it's only one. Doesn't make sense all of them speaking at the same time. It was one of them speaking, but they're angels. But if I use your logic, then your Islam is destroyed. But because you are stupid, you are ignorant. You are a kid, like all of you. If the one you take the hadith from, her name is Aisha and she was six years old. If 
if this is your master and you call her the mother of the believers uh, do we have any Muslim <clears throat> let us see if we have any Uh, if we go actually in here different verse let us see this verse here just for a laugh and the funny he say the rabbi the rabbi you know, the rabbi, the rabbi is the one who stopped your prophet. And he said to him, you are not a monotheist. And then Muhammad, he learned monotheism from him. Read and laugh. This is a Jewish rabbi who was walking by your prophet. And he told your prophet, you are not a monotheist. You don't worship one God. And what your prophet he did, did he argue with him? No. He agreed. And he asked his followers to do what the rabbis say. To do what the rabbis say. He said to him, you say whatever Allah wills and you will. You set reviling, you set up revise with Allah, with God. Associating others with Him. And the funny, the Quran says that the Jews at that time, they worship a man, his name is Uzair, he is a son of Allah. But Muhammad, he got himself busted because as you see, the Jews don't associate anyone with their God. And he schooled Muhammad and what Muhammad did, he did not debate him. He did not say to him, no, you are wrong. That's not what we meant. No. He did exactly as the Jews asked him to do. Don't say that. From now on, don't say that. It's in the front of you. But if you want to talk about how many here and how many there, we will find the Quran is full of contradiction. If we ask the Muslims, the Spirit of Allah, this guy, he said the Spirit of Allah is not Jibreel. That's wonderful. Allah have a Spirit, which Islam don't believe. Islam they believe, Islam, Allah have no Spirit. But the Quran says, and this is what the Muslim believe, not this potato, that Allah, he sent, his spirit to Mary. And that spirit appeared to her as a full man. Chapter 19, verse number 17. She placed a screen, she screened herself from them, then we sent her our angel. This is the Muslim translation. And he appeared before her as a man. Okay. How many angels they spoke to Mary and came to Mary? One or many? I'm using your logic. Just to show you how stupid you are. Do you understand, guys? Do you see? I'm, I'm using another logic. How many angels they came to Mary? One. The other verse says that the one who came to her is the spirit who appeared as only one person as a human being. Here it says angels. And actually now the story is even different because the other verse says a spirit and we heard this guy. 
he said that the spirit is the spirit of Allah, not Jibreel. He said that, not me. He said the spirit is the spirit of Allah. So now we have a totally different story because either, either angels, they came to Mary when many of them, and they gave her the good news about the Messiah, or it was a spirit which appeared as one man. Do you see it? People will be the judge, I don't know. I mean, uh, you, uh, I allow you to speak. And your contradiction is funny. Let me get some water, sorry guys. We get thirsty here. I have a whole box of uh, water next to me. So I do not need to go to the kitchen. So was it one angel or there's many angels? Is it one person or many person they came to marry? The verse in the front of you. This is your logic. Do we have any Muhammadan? Any brave Muhammadan? I am a Muslim. Okay. We are calling somebody he claimed to be a Muslim. Let us see. I want adult to call me, not kids. Until now, I, the call is not working. Any Muhammadan? So the story, you know, all the stories in the Quran are funny, stupid, and, and the flying carpet. I mean, this Muslim, he did not bother him. All those funny, stupid stories about the Quran, flying carpet, the end, the hood, the chair of uh, Al-Afrit. There is Afrit in the Quran. Genie in the ball. Genie in the ball. Anyone? You know, uh, We laugh at what you think or what you call to be contradiction in the Bible. Do you think we Christians don't read our book? We laugh at you. Do we have any Muhammadan? Any brave Muhammadan? We miss the story of the aunt who is talking to Solomon and she knew his name. And what is killing me, how in the world this aunt she knew the name of Solomon? Look, this aunt not only she is debating and arguing with Solomon, is speaking to him as a human being. What is killing me that she knew his name? I can give you a phone number. You want to give me a phone number? What I would do with a phone number? 
Give it to the ants, Kusa. Can you give your phone number to the ant? She will call you and she will tell you what happened to Solomon. Can you bring us one of the ants, ancestor of this ant who spoke to Solomon to tell us the story? Huh? Can you? Because obviously this ant is a true story ant. If we go right now and search in Google, you will find, search for a book, it's called The Legions of the Jews. This guy, he mentioned that he spoke to Rabbi, asked the Rabbi, he will tell you this is legions, we laugh at them. Those are funny stories, we tell them to kids, legions. Solomon, he saw an ant and the ant spoke to him. Yo, go right now, search, Legion of the Jews, book. Most of the stories Muhammad he have, which is the most funny, hilarious stories, is coming from legions. And by the way, show respect to my future fiancé, ant. Because as you see, the ants, they like a human and they get fascinated and get horny when they see Suleyman. My friend, my mother, she was healed from Corona, from pray of Allah. No, my friend, your mother, she, did you take her to the hospital? Okay, well, I will, I will take what you said for, for a granted, Mr. Kusa. Guys, his mother, his mother, not the aunt, she was healed from Corona by the prayer for Allah. Okay. How come your prophet was sick all the time and Allah did not heal him? Is that your prophet? He is sick all the time. Let us see. Look what your prophet he do when his family they get sick. Aisha reported when any of members of the household fell ill of the messenger household fell ill. Allah messenger may peace be upon him. He used to blow over him. <laughs> and then his kids they die. Isn't you Muslim you say that Muhammad he have two kids, two boys, they die, they get sick? You're a prophet, he should call Jesus. Jesus, he can bring them even from the grave. So you're a prophet, medicine is a fraud. Isn't it your prophet who said that the one who eat Ajwa, seven Ajwa every day. No poison can kill him and no black magic can work on him. And later he died because of a black, of, of, a, of a poison and he was under the influence of a black magic. Your prophet is a fraud. He eat every day, he eat Seven Ajwa. Do we have any Muhammadan? My friend, all of you Muslims, you go overseas for medication. Stop being stupid. If your Allah work, you will not send your kings and princes all over to America, all over to Korea, all over to, to, to Japan, all over around the world. For, for You just say Allah. The average life in the Middle East is very short. Where is your Allah? In Europe, people, they live for 80, 90, 100, 100 something. In, 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 in the Middle East, the average of life is 55, 60. Where is your Allah?
And not only that, even the Kaaba become empty when we have a disease. If you if, if you trust Allah, why you empty the Kaaba? Huh? Why you shut down the Kaaba? Especially your prophet, he says that this is the Kaaba, the, the Mecca and Medina. There's no disease can enter it. The plague will never even enter those both. Empty. Almost for two years. Go and tell Allah to fix the plumbing of the Kaaba before you tell us about your God. I mean, have you ever heard of a God, his Kaaba plumbing is not working and it keeps being flooded? Have you ever heard, like we heard this guy, that Allah, he sent the black stone so that we will know Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve, they built the Kaaba. I mean, the earth is empty and now we have to build the Kaaba, brother. Adam and Eve. And Allah, he sent Adam in Sri Lanka. And he sent Eve in Jeddah. Hmm. True story. How they met again, don't ask me. And this is the Kaaba, and this guy is taking it is, is taking a, like a swim. Look at this. If Allah is the one who chosen the location of the Kaaba, can't he choose a better location? You know what? Even if he liked the location, can't he make it higher so the flood will not cover it and it will be destroyed each time a flood come? Thank you, American, for creating a cement. The Kaaba now is stronger. This is the Kaaba, where all the poop come from the sewage. There's no sewage in Mecca, by the way. There's Bayara. Bayara is a, is a shithole. Everybody in his yard, like in America, they call them septic tank. But, you know, septic tank, they have like protection, they have a code, like, you know, there's a, uh, it's not like we'll flood and go in the street. Here, no. It's just a hole in the ground. When some rain come, all the poopoo will go and float. This is why the water is so dirty. Look at this water. Look at the color of the water. And then the Muslims, they say, do you know that the Kaaba is always clean and birds don't do poo, poo in it? And they do Photoshop. But the truth is different. They come every few days to clean it in the top. Let us show you the poopoo. -poo. Look, they are even they, they they are spraying it from the insect. You know, because cockroaches, I mean the smell is so bad. Huh. Let us see. Let me let me find you the, the some pictures of the poop before they clean it. Fraud, everything is based on a lie. <clears throat> everything in this religion is based on a lie. Airplanes cannot fly in the top of the Kaaba. Birds don't poo 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 in the Kaaba. I mean, who did the Kaaba? And there is a rain come out from the Kaaba all the way to the seven heaven. And when the American went this, to the sky, if they, they found the, the rain, they saw the rain, and they posted it in the internet at that time for 21 days. And then well, we know at that time there's no internet. What internet? And when they, uh, they were afraid that people, they will uh, uh, see the truth and they will leave Islam. So they take it off from the internet, brother.
Guys, the birds don't do poo poo in the Kaaba. They don't. They don't. They go to the bathroom. They go where? They go to the bathroom. And not only that. They're there in the bathroom. They have a bee date and it's made in Japan and it have a, like a, a hot water for to clean their bum. All what they say is a lie. Airplane don't fly in the top of the Kaaba. I mean, Al Qurmati, he destroyed the Kaaba. Al Hajjaj, he destroyed. Go and check how many times the Kaaba been destroyed totally. Where was Allah? And now what the Muslim, they will say, oh, those are not the poopoo of the birds. This is the poopoo of shaitan. That it will make it even more horrible. This picture is debunked and it's fake. Guys, it's fake. It's fake. <laughs> so why this guy here with the vacuum is vacuuming it? He's vacuuming what? <laughs> as long as the Kaaba is always clean you have a vacuum machine in the top of the Kaaba and the guy is clean it, why? <laughs> not only that what if we show you that the hadith says that the dogs used to go and in, in the house of Allah and they piss and your prophet and his followers they never clean up after dogs. Let us go to the hadith. Hmm. Read. My father said, during the lifetime of Allah Apostle, the dogs used to urinate and pass through the mosque. Come and go in the mosque. And never less, they never used to sprinkle water in it. Do you see it? And this is Al-Bukhari. Where is the guy who called us Mr. Bukhari? This is Al-Bukhari. Imagine how clean Muhammad and his companions. Dogs, they go, they lift up their legs. You know what dogs do? I mean, dogs do what dogs do. And they mark the mosque of Allah all over with their piss. And what make it more horrible, not a single Muslim sprinkle water over the dog's poopoo. -poo. Do you see it? This guy is saying Islam is growing day by day. You can talk as much. I don't know about growing. I saw millions of women, they are striking against hijab. Nobody want to follow Islam. I saw women and people, they are resigning from school and university in Afghanistan because Islam says women, they have to stay home. So where is the growing Islam? Which country make women stay home? Which country forbid the music? Which country forbid TV? Which, TV? Which country? I mean, look, you have a Christmas in Saudi Arabia. You have a Christmas tree. Isn't it your prophet? He said that my people time will come and they will play music and they will pray, they will drink and uh, uh, they will play the, the, the Satan instrument, the music, and Allah will make them pigs and monkeys. This is Saudi Arabia celebrating Christmas. Saudi Arabia itself. Hmm. Let me show you the pictures. I can show you videos too. Welcome to Saudi Arabia, brother. Islam is growing. Where? Women in Saudi Arabia are not wearing hijab. Muslims are buying a Christmas tree. Christmas tree in the middle of the biggest yards all over Rida, Jeddah. This is the mole, brother. People, Saudi, are buying the Christmas tree. 
كريسماس تري برادر ايفر سانتا كلوز يو هاف سانتا كلوز وذ ذا كامل برادر الله اكبر لوك سانتا كلوز هي از ان ذا ديزرت سو هي هاف تو ادجست هيز ترانسبورتيشن سو ناو هي هاف ا كامل ميك سينس اي مين ان فنلاند هي رايد سلايد ان سنو اند يو نو دوغز بات ان سعودي اريبيا سانتا كلوز هي هاف ا كامل And look, this our sister, beautiful sister here with the abaya, with the veil. She's walking between the Christmas tree. She is doing shopping. Where is the Islam growing? Hmm? Brother? Muslim women, she is happy. Finally, they have Santa Claus in town. Muhammad is not in town. Muhammad come in town will bring terrorists. This is Saudi Arabia school in the mosque. Like what happened? This is all Saudi Arabia. Rida, city of Rida. <laughs> And you know what the funny is? Like if you tell me like You know, 10 years ago, uh, if you say to me, this is will happen, I will say there's a civil war will happen in Saudi Arabia. But look how coward they are. Those scholars, the big mouth, because this man, Ibn Salman, he is the one who gave command. Who dare to say no? Cowards. They claim to be brave for the sake of Allah. Allahu Akbar. No way. The guy, he said, no hijab, no hijab. Women drive, women drive. Not a single sheikh dare to open his anus. Nobody. Nobody know, nobody know, nobody know, nobody. Nobody. Women wear hijab as they wish. They don't want to wear hijab as they wish. They want to go and uh, drive their cars, bicycle. They go to movie. Now they have theater. They have nightclubs. Not a single sheikh dare to open his mouth. They went to mute. And not only that, now they have a festivals. They are bringing G DJ, and look how many Saudi are dancing, brother, like ants. Takbir. Look how many those people are desperate for music. Finally, they can breathe. I mean, do you see? This is in Saudi Arabia. DJ party. What happened? Singers, dancers. This is Saudi Arabia now. Parties for all in Rida. Once banned. Entertainment sector. Now, by the way, they have a ministry of entertainment in Saudi Arabia. <laughs> Where is the Motawi? Where is the Sheikh? Where is those terrorists? They went to mute. Nobody dare to open his mouth. Not even one. They used to beat women in the street if they are not wearing hijab. Now women, they are going party wearing no hijab. This is Saudi Arabia party, guys. Party time in Saudi Arabia. Men and women dance together in giant. Take a beer. I'm just searching. I don't know. I mean, I'm searching in Google. Google, peace be upon him. You know, this guy, he made them shish kebab, all of them. Nobody dare to say, what are you doing, man? Who dare? He will make them shish kebab. And by the way, Whatever they say about him in the West, like liberals, they say, but the Saudi, especially the new generation, they like him because this guy, he gave them freedom. Finally, Islam is dead.
young men and women in Saudi Arabia, they love this guy. This is why they never dare to question what he is saying or doing. Because the majority, they like him. They want it, desperately they want it. And now the opposite is happening in Iran. In Iran, the Islamic regime was torturing people for not wearing hijab. Guess what? Millions of Muslims in the street refusing hijab, burning it, dancing, women dancing in the street. That's it. Nobody wants Islam. This is reality, my friend. And what is coming? This We are in 2023. So you can imagine what will happen in 2050.